Welcome back to my channel. You may have already seen me film this look and see me in the same exact outfit, or you'll see this look later. I use the Juvia's Place Tribe Palette to create a nice fall look, but today I am going to be ranking all of my fall palettes. So all of my palettes that I can create at least one fall look with. To me, I mean, you can wear whatever colors you want all year round. It doesn't really matter, but the typical fall look, you know, the warm oranges, browns, greens, like all that type of stuff. If I can create at least one full look with the palette, then that will be included. And I have 16 palettes total that I consider fall. Um, and I'm just going to show them to you. So here we go. At number 16, I have this palette by Nicole Miller. It's called the Gemstone Palette, and it's actually broken. This thing just falls out, which is why I got it for a dollar at uh, Marshall's or no TJ Maxx. But um, this one does have some really good warm tones. It has this green here, but I just am not very impressed by the quality of this. I've only tried to use it once and I felt like the shadows weren't very pigmented and it just wasn't my favorite. I do need to give it some more chances, but I've only used it one time and wasn't impressed. So that's why that came in at number 16. Then I have this palette by W7. It's the Natural and Berry Eye Palette. And this is what the front looks like. And I always see this brand at um, Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And um, this is what this one looks like. Um, I feel like it's a dupe for one of the ABH palettes, but um, this one I just haven't really used that much, which is why it's ranked so low. But even just to swatch a color when I was trying to dupe a different palette, I immediately got like the hard top on this shadow here. So, um, and I wasn't impressed by the swatches really. So I haven't actually used this one on my eyes, but this one has a lot of nice fall tones. So that was number 15. And then at number 14, I just have this palette of single eyeshadows that I've taken out of random palettes if I only want some colors. And I created this also to use on clients. So there's a bunch of different brands of eyeshadows in here, but this whole side over here and a lot of like the green tones on this side all seem like good fall palettes. And I do want to um, do a video with like three looks from my singles. Um, some of them, unfortunately, I didn't label, but we've got like um, some ColourPop. There's some that came out of my X and O Cosmetics palette because I didn't want to keep all of those shadows. I just picked out my favorites. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know where half of them came from. I think there's some BH Cosmetics. Yep, that one's BH. So I don't know. Um, I got, you know, some magnets and glued them onto the backs and some of them I just didn't write the names on, which I'm bummed about. But um, I do want to get some use out of this because I literally never pull it out because it's just so much random stuff in here. But this color especially I want to try. It is like this white green like duo chrome it's gorgeous and that would go good with a lot of fall looks and let me see if I wrote where this one's from I did not unfortunately but yeah so that's my singles palette next I've got at number 13 my Rimmel magnifies jewel rocks palette and that's what this one looks like and again I got this one a while ago and I used it for a video and then haven't really touched it since. This is one of my palettes that my son got into. You can see kind of dig marks in some of these and it was actually missing for a while. So um, I do want to use this more because I don't really remember exactly what I thought about it. And next I have this um, Revolution Fierce as Fire palette. One of these popped out. It was just a highlighter, but um, this one has seen better days as well. And I got this as a free gift at Ulta when I bought something else. So um, it's not that I don't like this palette, I just really don't reach for it because I have others that I like more. <laughs> and now I've got my Smashbox little palette that looks like this. This is one of the first eyeshadow palettes that I got um, besides like crappy ones that I had before because I always just bought like the cheapest things. And when I started getting more into makeup, Lacey actually gave me this. Um, and this is the Ablaze palette, and it's just perfect for fall. 
And next, at number 10, I have my Morphe 35F palette. This is the Fall Into Frost palette, but I mean, there's a lot of different browns and different shimmer tones in here. This whole bottom row is mattes, and the rest of the palette is shimmers, and I feel like you create a decent amount of fall looks with this palette. So next I have my Profusion Basic palette and obviously nice and warm tone palette and I really like Profusion shadows and this could definitely make some nice fall looks as well. And then I've got this BH Cosmetics palette and this is the It's My Ray Ray palette. I got this one on clearance because this deeper highlighter broke but it wouldn't have worked for my skin tone anyway, but then there is this eyeshadow palette in here as well, and I really haven't used this enough. I've only used it like one time probably, other than like swatching to try and like dupe palettes, so um, yeah, I don't know. I really also like this one as well for fall. And next I've got my Violet Voss little fun-sized palette, and this is just says eyeshadows. I guess it, maybe it doesn't have a name. Um, but, and then that is what this one looks like inside. So again, nice and warm toned and nice and fall-like. I've only got a few more. At number six, I have my Jawbreaker palette. And this one, I could probably only create a few fall looks with, but there's these colors down here, this nice um, deep raspberry. There's these shades, this green, these colors up here. So this one can definitely create some fall looks and I will probably use this one to do a couple looks coming up at some point. <laughs> um, and then I've got my James Charles and Morphe palette and this one you could get a decent amount of fall looks out of too. This whole section up here and then also there's these greens and yellow. So um, I think um, I'll probably, maybe I'll do like a fall look from like my top five or something for fall palettes because this is number five and then at number four I've got my Profusion Sienna's palette and I mean this is just the perfect fall palette like this is every color you need and I really really like the quality of this palette as well and number three I've got my BH Cosmetics Royal Affairs palette which looks like this it doesn't look like the typical like fall palette but it does really have some nice warm tones and deep greens and I absolutely love this palette you guys know that I get a lot of use out of this and I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the first palettes I hit pan on in eyeshadows but we'll see I don't think I've hit pan on an eyeshadow yet so thanks and at number two I have my subculture palette again just perfect this is more of grungy type fall colors, but it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and this is great for fall as well. And number one, my Juvia's Place Tribe Palette, which is what I have on my eyes today. I feel like there are so many ways you could go with this to create so many different fall looks, and I was thinking I'm probably going to do a three looks one palette with this one coming up soon just because, like I said, it is perfect for those of you looking for like what is said to be fall looks, I I think that you guys could create a lot with this one. So I think I'll do a three looks one palette with this one as well, but I did just do a nice um, fall halo-ish eye today. And I really like the way it came out and I'm excited to be using this more as fall continues. <laughs> and wow, that was a quick one. I'm excited. Um, so those are all of my fall palettes. I had 16 of them total that I consider to be fall, but you will also be seeing soon me ranking all of my colorful eyeshadow palettes. And I had 38 palettes that I consider to be colorful that I reach for for colorful eyeshadows. So keep your eyes out for that one because that will be coming soon. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just kind of relaxed but I felt like I would kind of throw it out there and you guys let me know what your favorite fall palette is or your um, favorite fall palette that you own or if there's one that you want that you want me to try and dupe out of my collection so I can show you maybe that you don't need it um, 
And also let me know any of those palettes that you guys would like to see looks with. And one more thing. Um, I'm very excited to start doing Halloween looks, so please let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you would like to see. Last year, I know I did a cat and a zombie, and I thought that there was something else, but I just can't remember at this time. But that's kind of what got me started doing makeup on my channel. So I feel like I've come a long way since last year, and I'm excited to do some more crazy, fun looks this year. So let me know what you guys want to see. I want to try to put out one Halloween look a week until Halloween comes, at least. But we'll have to see what happens with that because it all depends on how I'm feeling. But, yeah, I feel like I just said a ton of things. So maybe you'll do one of them for me. Um, but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If not, that's okay. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time.